Hello engineers, this is my third part of monorail test drive. I built it a new type of suspension now with pistons and rotors. Before I made, the, made it the, um, this video, I already made it a longer video with the how I built this suspension. But while I, while I'm trying to do edit the video, I corrupted the original record. So. I made this year new. Over the pistons, now it will drive through slops. The major difference is I don't got any more this huge uh, hinge in the middle. The attach point to the suspension is on now on, uh, on the edge of the suspension. So now we're gonna take here and gonna show you how I make it test drive. <clears throat> Passing the curve. Now we're going up on the slope. It's a little bit stabler while braking. And it passes very smoothly the slopes. It's a little bit better, yeah. Yeah. This is The setup is not complete for the for the pistons, but it's not easy to change some settings then. Of course if the stress gets from one subgrid over another subgrid that um, could be make it very unstable all settings they have to be very very carefully I got a broken version of these broken area where I can show you what exact I mean this is uh, in this part there is stress from one to other subgrid too hard so it makes this no 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 where you go by. They're really getting completely out of control when they are too strong from one to another subgrid. But this one is yeah, really fine. 
I hope I can set their game in a little bit more performance without destroying the entire train. On the end of the train, there is just for sample uh, the it's not uh, the old suspension, and um, I don't really like how that looked like, and it's not good because the attach point where the masses will uh, interact with each other is one point in the middle. That's a critical. That's a, that's a good way to get that unstable. And oh yeah, another part. Um, somebody left me uh, in the comments uh, a good idea on name of the train, Moon O Rail. I think that's a pretty good idea. And. Yes, yeah, some other people uh, told me or this about the this large grid here is yeah it's very mess it's a lot of mass and the center and the center of the mass is ridiculous high. But for for the test train that's um, yeah, it's a good way to test what and what what the OMR suspension can do and how much potential uh, potential it got. I'm not sure if I'm changing something about this middle part here because the feature is from here now it. It's not in use because uh, over the rotor is a door, not a conveyor. But <clears throat> with these here, I could conveyor systems connect from one part to another part. So that's it for these. Uh, for the new suspension.